there's just no way I would be able to keep up with sweeping every day. <gasps> a Lego. <laughs> no wonder it's jammed. <laughs> so we got uh, one Lego, two Lego, Nerf dart, and a Band-Aid. Hey guys, it's Jen. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another weekend prep video. It has been so long since I've said that because I just completed Vlogmas and so for a month I was filming vlogs and not weekend prep videos, but now it's January and we're back. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. Uh, I'm a full-time working mom and I have two kids and in these videos I just like to show you what we try to get done during the weekend to prepare for the upcoming work week. So today is Saturday. It's 10.15 in the morning. And I actually got up at 7 o'clock today and went to a 7.45 spin class, uh, which I have never done before. <laughs> so it was a little bit, uh, I don't want to say scary because it's not really scary, but uh, it's always nerve-wracking doing something you've never done before. But my friend Christine, who also has a YouTube channel here, uh, Frugal Fit Mom, I actually texted her last night because I know she's a spin instructor. And I said, what are your tips if this is my first time going to a spin class? And so um, she said, you know, bring water, bring a towel, because you're going to sweat. And then she kind of gave me some pointers for like a first timer, which I thought was really awesome. So felt good doing that. Uh, they have classes like throughout the week, so we'll just have to see if I can make some other times work. But anyway, after I got done there, I stopped and got a coffee and went to, <laughs> went to Walmart uh, just to get a few things. So I'm going to show you. Uh, what I got there and then I'll also show you I made a list of everything that I kind of want to get done this weekend so I'll show you that also all right so I only spent $40 at Walmart and actually 10 of that was stuff for uh, Kira's new uh, business venture that she's gonna try of uh, making earrings so I did get her some uh, needle nose pliers these were five dollars and then two packages of jump rings these were two like 250 each so I think ten dollars total and um, if you didn't watch the last video I posted she shared a little bit about how she is um, she used basically used some of her Christmas money to order some supplies to make earrings and she wants to sell them to her friends so these will be for her so she can either well I haven't decided yet either I can use this as an investment, a ten dollar investment in her business, and she could pay me back when she starts making money, or she can pay me back now. <laughs> I've just, I've just invested ten dollars in the earring business. Um, anyway, so I only picked up a few things because I've been craving cheeseburgers, and so I want to get my cast iron skillet out tonight and make some cheeseburgers. Um, and so I got these whole wheat hamburger buns. Um, these are by Pepperidge Farm and they're pretty good. They actually have a fair amount of fiber in them, um, three grams per bun, which isn't bad, only 130 calories, so I got those. Uh, I got some bacon, in case we wanna do bacon on our cheeseburgers. Uh, I got some waffle fries, these are just the uh, Walmart brand, and these are really good, cooked in the air fryer. Uh, I also got some tomatoes for the burgers. I have the rest of the stuff on hand. I have lettuce and cheese, and we have beef in the freezer and stuff, um, and then I, got this huge two pack of Heinz ketchup because I wanted to make sure that we didn't run out and I don't think we have a backup in the pantry um, and then I just got some Diet Mountain Dew some uh, sparkling sorry Murphy's playing some mandarin orange uh, sparkling water and then this is the bubbly the strawberry I can't remember if I've tried this kind before uh, this is basically like LaCroix it's just Pepsi's version of LaCroix and um, it's pretty good and it actually had a rebate back on fetch uh, rewards so I scanned that and so this is kind of my to-do list for this weekend um, I did film like a cleaning video the other day taking down the Christmas tree and stuff so I want to get that edited and posted today um, I also started filming a meal prep video which I want to get finished um, filming today and so I can post that tomorrow um, I need to wash sheets, do laundry. I want to do also a freezer and pantry inventory um, going into January because uh, we have actually eaten down some of the food in our freezer, in our deep freeze a little bit, but I still want to write stuff down and 
try to plan my meals around that and what's in the pantry instead of buying uh, a bunch of new stuff. And then I still have Christmas cards to finish to send back to all of you that have sent them to me. So I want to do that this weekend. And then also I have a small Christmas tree uh, upstairs that I need to um, take down and get into the basement as well. But right now I'm going to eat my breakfast. All right, so here's what I got for breakfast. When I went to Starbucks, I just got a cold brew coffee. I did get a couple of the egg white, and I think they're like roasted red pepper and egg white bites or something like that. I like all of them, but these and the ham ones are my favorite. These don't have any meat in them. And someone actually told me on Instagram, I think they tagged me in a post that Aldi has these now, like pre-made, so I don't know. I might go to Aldi for my groceries this weekend, so if I do, I'll see if I can find those and try them but um normally if i go to starbucks and get the egg bites i get the avocado spread but since i knew i was going to be eating this at home i have an avocado here so i just cut some up and put lemmer lemmer i put lemmer on it i put lemon salt and pepper on it and a piece of wheat toast So after breakfast, I decided just to get a little bit of cleaning done in the kitchen. I had some dishes that I needed to hand wash. Um, I did get a new knife set, which I really like. And one of my uh, resolutions, shall we say, has been to hand wash my knives instead of putting them in the dishwasher, even though I have like a top top rack for them. I think it's still um, dulls them and, and makes them not cut quite as well. So that's one thing I've been trying to do is hand wash my knives for. And then I wanted to switch out my Iowa pine Mrs. Myers scent for the uh, peppermint scent, which is my new favorite one for winter. So I got those bottles washed up and put away and then loaded the dishwasher with those dishes. <music> My sink also needed a good scrubbing, so after I got all of the dishes out of there, I went ahead and did that. I'm using the Mrs. Meyers uh, Scrub Clean, I can't talk, Cream Cleanser. Um, I really like that along with uh, one of the Bubble Up brushes from Grove Collaborative to scrub out my sink with. Um, I get most of, most all of my cleaning supplies from Grove Collaborative, and uh, if you guys haven't been around for a while, uh, you, you probably don't know that, but those of you who have are probably tired of, of hearing me say it, but I like that I can get everything delivered to my house. I don't have a Target nearby me, and so it's hard for me to find like the new method and Mrs. Meyer sense, and so it's nice that I can um, get those delivered. If you guys haven't tried Grove before and you want to, I do have a link in my description box where you can click on that, and I believe you get a free five-piece Mrs. Meyer's gift set uh, if you're a first-time customer. I also really love these stainless steel wipes from Wyman. Um, it comes with a microfiber cloth. You can get that on Amazon. I can link that down below as well, but if you have stainless steel, it is the best way to clean it in, in my opinion and doesn't leave smudges. Um, I also wanted to quickly wipe off the back of my sink. I have a corner sink and so there's a large area back there um, that I just usually have like a plant sitting on, uh, but it does tend to get a little bit dirty. So every so often I like to just pull the plant out and um, give it a good wipe down along with the windowsills. <music> So I'm setting out the new um, soaps and uh, dish soap and spray that I'm going to use, which is the peppermint. It smells so good. I love it. It's one of my favorite scents by them. And then I also have one of these little trays that I keep behind my sink, and that's where I normally put my scrub brushes. So like the brush that I use to scrub my sink with and my vegetables and um, the glass cleaner and then also the straw cleaner that I have. So since I had one of those wipes out and ready, I decided to go ahead and wipe off the front of my um, refrigerator. The, the nice thing about those stainless steel wipes is that one wipe will pretty much clean all the surfaces um, in your kitchen. 
So usually when I have one out, I just clean everything that way I don't waste it. And then after you wipe it with um, the wipe, you just use that gray microfiber cloth to uh, wipe it up and shine it and it works really, really super well. I also just kind of made a spur of the moment decision to clean out the microwave while I was working on everything. I think one of the kids had um, heated up something. I don't know if they put like a tortilla with cheese in there. It wasn't on a plate. And of course, the cheese went all over and got um, stuck on the glass plate. So I went ahead and took that out and let it soak in the sink. How I clean my microwave is I just used a hot water and a microfiber cloth and then whatever multi-surface spray that I have at the time. So like right now I'm using the peppermint. So it smells really, really good. Um, and then once that was wiped out, I just went ahead and gave that glass plate a good scrub. Um, it is really nice, obviously, that you can take those out <laughs> of the microwave and scrub them. And it's even nicer that I have like one large sink instead of two smaller basins because large things like this, it makes it so much easier to wash them um, in the sink. So if you're ever planning a house build or a kitchen remodel, I can definitely recommend getting um, a large sink base instead of a double sink. All right, so moving on to some laundry, I had a load that I had put in the washer the night before and so needed to get that put in the dryer. Some of the clothes that are in this load are not going into the dryer and so I'm kind of just setting those aside and then I'll just hang those up um, on hangers in my laundry room. Uh, we did have this rack over the washer and dryer installed when we had our house built because I knew that I wanted a place to hang clothes and honestly, it's not that large. Sometimes I do have to hang clothes in in the kids bathrooms on their shower rods look at this shirt that Adam got me for Christmas it says lady in the sheets freak in the spreadsheets <laughs> he always gives me crap about loving Excel so I thought that was so cute I don't even know where he got it I'd have to ask him so let me know if you want to know um, that down below uh, next I'm just going to put our uh, comforter Adam and I's comforter in the washer and get that going <music> All right, so I did actually a lot more cleaning down in the kitchen than I thought I was going to do, but I was on a roll, so I just went for it. Uh, I did get the sheets off of Adam and I's bed, so one of our comforters is in the washer right now. If I wash both comforters and all the linens on our bed, it'll take me all day to get that done. It's 11.51 now. So uh, I showed you guys this robot vacuum uh, a few, well, it was probably before December at this point. I'm sorry, I haven't taken a shower yet. I've just been doing housework. Um, so my thoughts on this guy, which we have a Roomba downstairs, which is an iRobot. This guy right here, the one upstairs, uh, it's about $400, three to $400 cheaper than the iRobot Roomba, and uh, it shows. <laughs> you know, it's not um, terrible. It does an okay job. I also think that we haven't you, um, turned it on enough for it to really learn the layout of the upstairs yet, but I will say that I don't really have any complaints about the proper iRobot Roomba that we have downstairs. So I'll link both of them down below if you're interested in checking them out. I know I've talked about it before. The iRobot Roomba is my favorite because we have a dog and he sheds and there's hair all over the place and we have a lot of hardwood on our main floor. So if I didn't have that, there's just no way I would be able to keep up with sweeping every day with a full-time job. There's just, there's just no way. <laughs> so anyway, um, I'm gonna, right now this thing says it's jammed up, which I'm trying to see. See, and if you have hair, if you have long hair, like me and my daughter both have long hair, you see how, I mean, you guys know how this works, even with a regular vacuum, it gets tangled up in the rollers and stuff. 
So I don't know, I'll probably have to fiddle around with this a little bit and see. Oh, yep, see it's jammed right there, look at that. But what is in there? Oh, a Band-Aid. See? And what's this? A Nerf dart. So, oh, what's this? Oh my God, this is crazy. See these? What is that? Oh my God. Oh, a Lego. <laughs> no wonder it's jammed. <laughs> so we got uh, one Lego, two Lego, Nerf dart, and a Band-Aid. Uh, yeah, that, that'll, that'll clog up your robot vacuum. All right, we'll restart this little little buddy and see if he goes Not clean, oh there you go good job all right so anyway I set it in here in our bedroom so that um, it could clean <laughs> in here oh my god I'm dying not funny of course all right so I just got done showering I am gonna heat up some of this turkey rice soup that I made um, right after Christmas here on the stove then I'm also going to cut up some cheese and sausage and crackers I heated up the soup. I love eat, I love eating soup out of my Starbucks mug that I got at Christmas. Show us your earrings. Oh, little gummy bears. They're super. Pink ones and yellow ones too. They're cute. So I cut up all the sausage and cheese. This is um, I forget what is it called? Hickory Farms, I think that I got on clearance at Walmart after the holidays. And then this is a pepper jack. Summer sausage from Hy-Vee, it's actually really good. Cheddar cheese, pepper jack cheese, Ritz crackers. I cut up a big plate of fruit, apples and pears. Everyone ate all the pears and then Connor also had some cucumbers with ranch. My butt is starting to hurt now from spin. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna put our uh, comforter in the dryer and then I'm gonna get this video posted that I should have gotten posted several hours ago. All right, so it's about 5.30 and I'm getting dinner ready. I'm sorry for the air fryer noise. I have that on, there's some waffle fries in there. So I'm gonna do um, cheeseburgers and some grilled chicken because Kira doesn't really care for cheeseburgers or hamburgers really. I had some chicken in the freezer anyway and obviously I can use this for lunches this week. So I wanted to show you. If you guys haven't seen these, they're the Stouffer's seasoning wraps. So you just take the chicken breast and you kind of fold it in this little piece of parchment paper like a little book and it's seasoned and then you cook it in the pan just like that, no oil. They work really, really well. So I don't know, I don't know, I feel like sometimes these are kind of hard to find, um, but if you can find them in your grocery store, they're in the spice aisle. And then I have some ground beef in this bowl, which I mixed with my new um, garlic pepper seasoning, so that's fun. Uh, that some, someone sent me. I still don't know who sent it to me yet, but if you send it to me, please comment so I can thank you. Um, so I, that does have salt in it. So I just went ahead and sprinkled that in there with some Worcestershire, Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce. I don't know if I'm saying it right. And then uh, I have a cast iron skillet here. That's the best way to cook um, burgers inside. And then I have a nonstick skillet for the chicken. And then I think I'm also gonna make some steamed broccoli. All right, so whenever I cook like a lot of burgers or chicken like this, I always just put a sheet pan in the oven on warm, so like 250, and then I can put them in there as they are done. So I have some cheeseburgers, one regular hamburger, some chicken breast, uh, lettuce, tomato, pickle, some fries, there's nothing in there, and green beans and some toppings for the burgers. All right, good morning, friends. It is Sunday morning around 8.45, and uh, dinner last night was really good. I had been craving a cheeseburger for whatever reason, and <laughs> it uh, hit the spot, so I didn't really do anything more exciting last night besides clean the kitchen and do laundry um, and get the kids washed up and in bed, but then Adam and I did refilm our Q&A video last night, so you guys will have probably already seen that. It actually took us about an hour to film so hopefully I can get that edited today and um, let me show you my to-do list um, today we're going to go out for breakfast I was in the shower right now so when he gets done we're gonna go out for breakfast and then uh, we need to go to Menards and start ordering some of the stuff that we need for our basement 
uh, redo or well basement finishing project I guess and then later this afternoon around 2 we are gonna go see a movie uh, it's the animated one with Will Smith I think it's called sky spies in disguise or something like that so uh, that was what's planned for today and then this is what I got done yesterday so uh, I did post the cleaning video that I wanted to post you guys will have already seen that it was my holiday undecorating video I did not get my meal prep video finished filming I might try to do that today I did get our sheets washed laundry done I did not get the freezer and pantry inventory done either I did get all of the Christmas cards done so that I am excited about I didn't take down the tree upstairs I didn't meal plan and I didn't get groceries so those are kind of the things that are left today but I'll show you how many cards I got done Kira actually helped me label some of them what no, I said you helped me label some of them. So, yeah, these were all the cards that we got done last night. These are ones that will be mailed inside the U.S. And then these are international, which um, I separated them just because these require extra postage. And I still actually have some cards left. So what I want to do in the next few days is go through um, these cards and my actual address book. Because I, st I still have some family and friends, like personal family and friends, that... I haven't sent any card out to yet and I want to do that if it was just a regular Christmas card I probably wouldn't um, send it out late but since it's a photo card and sometimes like family you know family like to keep those for keepsakes and stuff um, especially like I actually we gave Christmas cards to Adam's family at Christmas but I don't think I gave any to like my mom and sister and stuff so that's what's planned for today hopefully we can get it all done Oh, and if you want to see my shirt, it is from Ray Gunn, and it says, America Needs Nurses. If I can find it on their site, I'll link it down below, but I have a lot of their shirts, as you know. All right, so I guess while I was sitting here waiting for Adam to get out of the shower, <laughs> I got my meal plan done for this week. So I'm going to go ahead and make my grocery list, and um, I'll, sh I'll be showing you guys this in a separate grocery haul video, and I think I'm going to go to Aldi and get my groceries this week. I am going to be doing a pantry organization video it'll be an organization series that's starting on my channel on january 10th and so um, i do want to kind of take inventory of my pantry and freezer and try to spend as little on groceries in january as possible and eat up what we have Alrighty, so much time has passed now it is about quarter to five this won't focus hello hello focus there we go uh, so anyway, it's about quarter to five, and since I last saw you, we went and ate breakfast, which was delicious, and then we spent about two hours at Menards picking out cabinets for our wet bar, and a vanity for our bathroom, and a mini fridge <laughs> for our wet bar, so I'll try to remember going downstairs later and show you guys what we ended up picking out. The cabinets we had to order because they're obviously like their custom or whatever so they had to be built to the specifications of the piping and everything in the basement so we ended up spending a lot of money <laughs> like more than we thought we were going to spend today but Menards is having their 11 percent sale so it was fine um you can basically get a rebate of 11 percent back on everything that you spent and we spent like four thousand dollars so that's like a huge savings so we ordered all that stuff, came back home. I had about an hour to work on editing the video that I want to post today, which is the Q&A. And then we just went and saw Spies in Disguise, I think it's called, with Will Smith. It's an animated movie. It was actually really cute. And so I'm thinking we're probably going to have a later or light supper. But also, after the movie, all four of us went to Aldi, which is weird because all four of us hardly ever go grocery shopping. Mostly it's just me. So instead of filming a separate Aldi haul, I'm just going to wrap it in with this video and then I'll show you the meal plan because I'm still kind of getting back in the groove and my normal schedule of filming and uploading after Vlogmas and I'm still all discombobulated. So um, let me get these groceries set out and I'll show you what we got for $130 at Aldi. So here's everything that we got. Actually, I think we got quite a bit of food for $130, but that's why we like Aldi, right? So um, I got some soda crackers just for, or saltine crackers, whatever you want to call them, just for have in the pantry for soup. And actually, uh, earlier this week, I made a, um, Adam, I made Connor some peanut butter crackers, and he really liked them. I remember eating those a lot when I was a kid, so I grabbed some of those just because they were running low. Uh, I got some margarine just for, we use this on toast and for grilled cheese. Uh, and then 
they the red grapes didn't really look very good so I just ended up getting green grapes so I'll wash those up for the kids to eat this week um, they had blueberries on sale I can't remember exactly how much they were um, but I grabbed some of those and some strawberries the strawberries actually didn't look too bad and um, they're kind of pricey around here this time of year though so I only got one a uh, one pound package of those I got a bag of uh, gala apples I usually buy one of these every week, um, one every week to one every two weeks. Um, Connor really likes apples and I cut them up a lot for the kids in their lunches and for snacks. I got some um, green onions for a recipe and for baked potatoes. And then I got some celery. Um, sometimes the kids do like celery with like peanut butter and um, raisins on it. So um, I grabbed it for that. And then also I think I might make some tuna salad and I usually like to put celery in my tuna salad. Uh, I got some grape tomatoes or what yeah I guess whatever cherry tomatoes for salads some cilantro uh, some romaine lettuce for salads and then um, I also saw these oh snap pickles I don't think I've ever seen these before at Aldi I've seen them before at Walmart but I've never seen them in a big package like this so typically Walmart just sells them like this and they're like a dollar a bag um, they're just dill pickles and they're like a really good low carb snack. Um, but this comes six in a box. So I think it was around four or something, like four dollars and some odd cents. So that's a really good price for those. Like I said, I've never seen them at Aldi before, but um, that's neat. Uh, I got some of this smoked white cheddar. Uh, this is really good on sandwiches. I think I've purchased it before at Aldi and we really liked it. So I grabbed that. And then I found the spinach and feta sous vide egg bites so I've seen these online and they're supposed to be comparable to the Starbucks ones they the sign said that they had bacon and cheddar ones also but my Aldi was out of them all they had was like two of these left and so I got one just to try them um, they're spinach and feta egg whites and it says that they're four grams total carbs and you can either cook them in the microwave or in the toaster oven so I'm thinking if you can cook them in the toaster oven you can cook them in the air fryer also so maybe I'll try those out uh, for breakfast tomorrow and have to let you guys know what I think. And if you've tried them, let me know what you think too. Um, I got two packs of the turkey snack sticks. These are our favorite to keep in the fridge for a quick snack. And then some uh, cheddar cheese sticks, some sharp cheddar cheese for a couple different dinners and recipes uh, this week, the shredded cheese. And then I got two blocks of cheese, one Colby Jack and one extra sharp cheddar. Uh, I got some pork sausage. This is for uh, breakfast burritos. And then Adam got these. I think these are basically like Slim Jims. They're like little uh, beef sticks. And then I got a pack. I got a package of hot dogs. Um, one night there's something that Adam and I are having that the kids probably won't eat. And so I do have a package of crescent rolls in the fridge. I thought I could make maybe some pigs in a blanket for them. Uh, Kira picked out this cheese ravioli. She really likes that. And to go with that, she picked out some Alfredo sauce. Um, I also got some lemons because I was running low on those. I always like to keep these on hand for recipes. And sometimes I put lemons in my water. Uh, I also got the mini cucumbers. I really like buying the mini ones just because I feel like you don't need to cut into all of them at once and they stay fresher longer in the refrigerator. Uh, and then these pears did not look too ripe, but they'll ripen as they sit on the counter. Uh, I got a bag of pears last week and Connor really, really liked them, so I thought I'd grab another. Um, Connor also picked out some granola bars. So this is the variety pack. It comes with chocolate chip. Oatmeal raisins, s'mores, and peanut butter. And then Kira picked out these uh, mini, these are kind of like the Ritz Bits cheese cracker sandwiches. Um, so she'll probably take those for her snack for school this week. Um, I got some of the whole grain chicken fries uh, for the kids also. And then we're running low on mayo. I like that my Aldi has uh, Hellman's mayo, which is kind of nice. Um, they do have some brand name stuff, and when I get mayonnaise, I prefer to buy name brand. I don't usually like the generic kind. Uh, I got two cans of beefaroni, one can of stewed tomatoes for uh, chili this week, one jar of dill pickles because we were all out of those, actually. We went to make cheeseburgers last night, and I realized that we didn't have any. Um, Sugar-free lemonade mix and some diced tomatoes for uh, the chili also. Um, for lunch meat this week, I got some hard salami. 
Um, Kira likes to have like turkey and salami sandwiches, so mainly she and she's the one that eats this. Um, I think Adam eats it too. And then I got some black forest ham and some turkey breast. These are $2.99 each, and they're like deli sliced. I've never seen these before at my Aldi, um, but I haven't been there in a few weeks, so not sure if they're new or not. But $2.99 for half a pound, so you know about six bucks a pound. That isn't really that's it's not terrible for um, you know deli meat if it's good. Uh, hopefully it is. And then Adam also picked these up, um, the hard salami slices. I don't know that we've tried these before. Um, are you going to take this salami to work, Adam? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe he'll take it to work and put it in his fridge for snacks there. But I don't think... I've seen Tiffany um, from Simple Wife, Simple Life get this before, and they really like it, so hopefully it's good. Uh, Connor picked out some Danimal smoothies. These are the Star Wars uh, kind, and they uh, expire... Oh, shoot. These expire in four days. Well, yogurt... Usually yogurt's good past the date, but I don't know. We'll see. Um, I didn't realize that. I, I wish I would have looked at the date. Anyway, there's strawberry and birthday cake in here. No wonder they were marked down. Fail. Um, okay, so uh, I got some of these whole wheat tortillas. Um, Adam really likes when I make breakfast burritos with these, so I grabbed a package of those. And then one package of frozen green beans for um, a side, a vegetable side this week for dinner. Uh, we also decided to try the sugar-free uh, generic Red Bull at Aldi. It's the Red Thunder. Um, I think I remember someone saying that it was good before, so I just decided we would try that. It was only like three something, three thirty-nine, I think, for a four-pack. Um, we grabbed some chocolate milk for the kids. Uh, Two percent milk is what I normally get, and I, I normally just buy a half gallon every week. We don't really drink milk, and so usually we just use it for cereal and cooking. Uh, I, they did have the Spindrift sparkling water uh, at Aldi this week. If you guys haven't tried that, it's it's kind of tart. It tastes like a LaCroix basically with some fruit juice in it. Um, so this one comes with grapefruit, lemon, and lime. If you don't like sparkling water, you won't like this. And if you like super sweet drinks, you may not like this, but I think it's really good. Um, it's kind of a, a nice change from just drinking plain sparkling water. And I can't remember how much this is, but it's a really decent price um, at Aldi. And then we also got some of the Diet Peach Tea, which is uh, comparable to the Diet Peach Snapple, which is also really good. Uh, and then the last couple of things are just a loaf of whole wheat bread for sandwiches and some apple juice for the kids' lunches. Normally I get Capri Sun, but they were all out of that. So that's everything that we got for this week. Uh, let me show you the meal plan really quick before I put this away. So last night on Saturday we had cheeseburgers and I also made some grilled chicken. Um, we still have extra grilled chicken left and so that will be good for salads this week and then we also had waffle fries. Um, I put vegetables and dip down but actually I made green beans so that was a little change. Um, tonight I have a beef and broccoli casserole that I made um, it's in, out in the garage refrigerator, and I made this in my keto freezer meals video, so if you guys haven't seen that, I'll leave the link for it down below. Um, in the link for that video, I have this recipe along with four others typed out in a Word document that you can download from Google Drive if you want to print any of those recipes off. I have down that we're going to have cottage cheese with it, but I forgot to get cottage cheese, so um, I don't know what we're going to do, but the kids probably will not eat this. Um, it's actually really good. I'll show you what it looks like when it's cooked up, but I tried a sample of it when I made the freezer meal and it was delicious. Um, and then for the kids, I'm going to make them some, some rice and broccoli and then probably heat up some of that leftover grilled chicken from yesterday. Uh, on Monday, I'm going to attempt to make uh, some chili with pulled pork. I have some leftover shredded pork in the refrigerator, and I looked up some recipes on Pinterest, so I'll have to share with you guys what I end up doing for that. Um, and then I'll make baked potatoes also because Connor's not really a huge fan of chili, but he does, um, he will eat a little bit of it, but he, he really likes baked potatoes, so he'll probably put a little bit of chili on his baked potato. Um, on Tuesday, I have a keto lasagna out in the uh, freezer that I'm going to make. That recipe is also in that video that I mentioned before if you want the recipe for that. Um, probably for the kids I'll just make them that ravioli with Alfredo because they're not huge fans of lasagna. Um, and then I'll make a salad with that. 
On Wednesday, I'm going to make fish. So I do have some salmon and some tilapia out in the freezer. So I'll probably just cook that up with like, you know, seasoning, lemon, garlic, salt, pepper, um, and then make green beans and cauliflower rice. And then Thursday is Adam's birthday. So happy birthday, Adam. Uh, he wants a creamed, creamed chipped beef or shit on a shingle, whatever you call it. I do have a video for that. Uh, so if you're interested in that, I'll leave the link for that uh, video down below also, which has the recipe in it. And then the kids really don't like that, so they'll probably have leftovers. And then, I don't know. Do you want cake and ice cream for your birthday? <laughs> I haven't really talked to him about that yet, but um, maybe I'll have the kids help me make a cake and we'll get some ice cream. Uh, and then Friday, we usually either go out to eat or have pizza. So that's our meal plan for this week. All right, here's what the kids are having for dinner. Uh, grilled chicken, uh, rice, and broccoli. Connor likes his with cheese and Kira doesn't. Adam and I isn't ready yet. So this is the creamy beef and broccoli casserole that Adam and I are having. Uh, this is also, I think I mentioned this earlier, but it's in that keto meal prep video. It's basically just like ground beef with homemade alfredo and broccoli with mozzarella and crushed red pepper on top. It's really, really good. Check that recipe out if you haven't yet because it's delicious. All right, so I'm downstairs. It's after dinner. I'm just going to show you quickly what we got. So this is the vanity that we got for our bathroom. Um, it's just a stock vanity, but it's a gray finish, which is kind of different because we don't have that anywhere else in the house. And then we just got a plain white vanity top and a mirror. So that'll go in that bathroom over there. And then we bought a um, beverage refrigerator which will go in the corner here. And then we went ahead and ordered all of the cabinetry for the bottom and the top of the wet bar. So that's super exciting. Glad we got that crossed off our list. All right, friends. So it is Monday morning. It is no longer <laughs> the weekend. I think the last thing I showed you was my, um, the stuff that we got from Menards in the basement for our basement remodel. Murphy, get down. And so, um, what else did I do last night? I cleaned up the kitchen from supper and I also finished editing the Q and A video that Adam and I filmed, which I'll link down below. You guys would have already seen that if you're caught up. Uh, that was a hilarious video. I know it's going to become one of my favorites. So if you haven't watched it, make sure you do that. It took me a lot long. I spent like, I spent a large portion of the day, honestly, editing that like way more than I thought I was going to just because it was, I had like 60 minutes of filming and I wanted to try and trim it down and you know what I mean It's just there was a lot of like pauses that I had to edit out and stuff So that took me a lot longer than I anticipated, but that's fine um, So other than that, I just yeah cleaned up the kitchen finished that video um, I started working on my Christmas cards for like my friends and family to send out because I haven't done that yet <laughs> so that will be done but let me show you my to-do list just to kind of touch base with what we got done this weekend so the reason why uh it's about 7 30 right now i am not working right now i actually took some hours of vacation this morning because i'm going to be on the high v today show this morning which is like a local morning show um so i will be vlogging that so you'll see that in a future video but anyway i wanted to check back with the to-do list to show you what i got done so did cross quite a few things off, not all of them. Um, so I posted my after Christmas clean with me video, got that done. I didn't get my meal prep video finished, but that's okay, I can work on that uh, in the evenings this week. I did get Adam and I's sheets done and Connor's sheets done, so that's good. Got laundry done. I did not get my freezer and pantry inventory done, but I'll do that this week during the evening sometime. Uh, I got my Christmas cards done to send back to all of you, so I crossed that off, although I do need to go to the post office maybe this evening and get some more stamps. Um, I did not get the Christmas tree taken down upstairs. Oh, I'm so irritated with myself, but whatever. I posted the Q&A video. Um, I meal, pre meal planned and got groceries. Uh, so overall, I would say it was a really productive weekend. I think that we, since we ordered all that stuff for the basement, that really kind of took a load off of Adam and I's shoulders. Just, we've been trying to make progress on it. And it's just, you know, when you're doing it on your own or semi on your own, it's just, 
sometimes it's hard to get the motivation to get things done like that but um, that was the main thing we got done this weekend and we had a lot of good family time we saw a movie and went out to breakfast and uh, even got groceries together which is not my favorite thing but anyway <laughs> they all came so thank you so much for watching this weekend prep video uh, I hope you enjoyed it and got some motivation to get things done in your own home and I will see you in my next video bye Thank you.